I envy any CEO of any Japanese company. When you are a CEO of a non-Japanese company, you understand uh, the privilege of being CEO in Japan. That is what Carlos Ghosn said more than a year ago. But today, the Nissan chairman is under arrest in Tokyo and is likely to be stripped of his job. According to Japanese prosecutors, Carlos Ghosn understated the amount of income he was making uh, when reporting that amount for Nissan securities filings. We sell 10.6 million cars. Okay. You have 5.5 million for, for Nissan, you have about uh, 4 million for, uh, for Renault, and a little bit more than 1 million for, for Mitsubishi. Carlos Ghosn has been a legend in the auto industry, bringing together one of the world's largest automotive alliances, Nissan, Renault, and now Mitsubishi. And in Japan, he's been treated as a hero for rescuing one of the country's most uh, honored industrial names, Nissan, which was on the verge of bankruptcy two decades ago. Mr. Ghosn was not only a popular figure in Japan, he was also revered in France for having saved the, the company's largest car maker, Renault. But he also was a controversial figure, largely because of the amount of money he made. And when they renegotiated his contract to extend it in February of this year, he was only brought back in on the condition that he take a huge salary cut. Mr. Ghosn's departure comes as a surprise to everyone, especially the manner in which it happened. He was such a, a charismatic figure for so many years. He is a larger than life personality. He was born in Brazil, grew up in Lebanon, uh, studied in France, uh, speaks brilliant English, although it's his fifth language or something like that. Uh, and he's always a very confident man, always optimistic about the future. Uh, you, you feel like you could follow, he's the kind of guy you would want to follow as a, as a person working for a, a car company, that he, he has a plan and he's going to implement it. I'm proud that Nissan Leaf is the first electric car to be honored at the European Car of the Year. Nissan was the first to bring about a mass market electric car. That was the Nissan Leaf, which first went on sale in December 2010. The entire car industry is in a battle with Silicon Valley over the future of the car, and particularly autonomous vehicle technology. And I'd say among the Japanese car makers, especially Carlos Ghosn, has been aggressive in setting targets for autonomous vehicles. And he already has some on the road that have a certain level of autonomy and maybe can drive themselves on the highway. And he's pushing ahead. He says in the future, all cars will be able to pretty much drive themselves. With Mr. Ghosn's departure, Industrial logic is going to replace vision as the driving force behind the alliance. And the question is, can this alliance deliver what Mr. Ghosn promised in an automotive industry that has radically changed over the last 20 years? We said from the beginning that this is a partnership. This is not a merger. We don't want a winner and a loser and a first-class citizen and second-class citizen. Renault shares were down sharply on the news. Uh, Nissan is going to take a hit as well, and also Mitsubishi. Uh, now, everyone understood that uh, Carlos Ghosn was eventually going to uh, retire from the scene and pass the reins to the next generation, but there was also an expectation that before he did that, he would have a plan uh, to keep this alliance together on a permanent basis. And so if he's not around to, to make that plan, uh, that leaves a, an enormous amount of uncertainty that I think investors would not like.